The phrase tweet storm is now a part of our vocabulary, and when it comes to politics, you might even say social media is for the birds. Actually, researchers at the University of Montana are finding real birds have been using their own social network for thousands of years. We just didn't know what to listen for until now. Professor Eric Green and his students in the Wildlife Biology Program at UM are continuing a multi-year study into how birds communicate, using the latest tools to decipher not only alerts, but an amazing array of very specific messages. The work done by Green and UM alumni Nora Carlson and Chris Templeton has just been published in the top science journal Nature and is gaining national attention. It turns out that there's the original tweeting and social network, social media, big time out in the woods out here. So right now, if we listen, it's actually really, really quiet because there's no predators around. But on this morning in the rattlesnake, that's all about to change. Good. And the volume's on. Using detailed audio recordings, the program is learning the birds and other critters are actually very specific in what they're tweeting. They contain tons of meaning. So, for example, birds will have a, a sound that specifically means snake on the ground. Not now, obviously. They have other sounds that means that mean flying raptor. So the speaker is right below me here playing the sounds of a pig meow. And literally in just the past few minutes, we've seen dozens of birds come into this area in what's known as a mobbing event. So you can see how just a few sounds have completely changed the acoustic landscape. Just the call of a predator can cause like chickadees from a quarter mile away to come in to one bush. What's most surprising is that this woodland code crosses species. Squirrels understand birdies perfectly well. B birds understand squirrelies. The elk are listening to the squirrels that, you know, it's, it's all connected acoustically. They've used this robot raptor, a pygmy owl, to great effect in the testing. Even seeing the robot causes another uproar. If we have a Townsend solitaire that usually hangs up in junipers and it's singing, are the chickadees going to think that it's an all-clear signal and that they don't have to worry about predators? Or if it's playing an alarm call, will they produce the same response that was seen by the pygmy owl? And there's no shortage of bird bandwidth. We've clocked some of these waves of information when there's a predator around moving at more than 100 miles an hour. Green says the data is critical because it shows how man's intrusion can throw the whole network out of whack through road building and other development. This can really um, lead to increased predation rates, mortality rates, for example, as things get noisier. And that's just an erosion of this, um, this distant early warning system. Truly is remarkable to sit there and see all that activity just like that. These breakthroughs didn't happen overnight, though. Green and his students have been working to decode the bird's social network for more than 15 years, even longer than Twitter has been around.